Oh, okay. Time for nighttime shave. Sorry about the light, but we just adjusted a little slightly. But uh, desperate time calls for desperate measures. See you in a bit. Hello. Okay. Um, I know conditions are not ideal tonight because uh, I got this to do this late night shave I normally don't do night shaves but uh, because I'm going for a trip tomorrow to Sabah so I'm gonna use Fat Boy today long time had to dig this up electric and ta -da! something new in the den new shaving bowl I am truly like the the fountain pen user who says this is my last pen yeah, so I, I had to buy this I saw it on Shopee and all of my bowls what was the justification? well all of my bowls didn't have grooves inside of them so when you are lathering up there was always a problem that it had nothing to stick on but then again you shouldn't be listening to me justify this anything would be a good justification to get some new shaving gear I think those guys watching the channel should know that pretty good by now yeah. there is never a bad time to buy shaving gear yeah, so Does the thing do what it's supposed to do? Yeah. It's quite a deep bowl, as you can see. Um, yeah, and it's uh, made of copper. Got a nice look, nice kind of like uh, retro and Retro look to it, which I like. And this is my Fat Boy. Haven't been using Fat Boy for some time. Honestly speaking, I didn't really like Fat Boy. First few times I use it. I'm hoping that with the repeated shaves and I getting more experience with this hobby there are certain classics I want to revisit been not a very good week for me in terms of health got this um, shoulder pain sleeping on the wrong side I just don't know how you can solve a problem like that you, you're basically lying in a position for many many hours and you just don't even know and I haven't had the time literally to go to the chiropractor so for you those of you who are curious this is set at 5 currently I don't know whether you guys can hear the, the blade just eating through that plate not eating through that beard
been a busy time for all the whole family as we are planning for this trip. Uh, this is the first time um, for me at least. I, I, I don't know for the rest of my family um, that I'm going to this uh, this uh, Sabah. I've never been to Sabah before. It's just over the weekend. I'm going to stop talking now, go and have a wash. I should stop talking because it makes the editing of the video easier later. Yeah, so this year is going to be a much. The family is going to go for much travel this year. Uh, after this, we are planning a trip to Europe uh, later in the year. That is the biggie. This 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 one we are just going basically because we got the free tickets. And uh, so we didn't want to waste it. Still gonna use it and um, let's set it now to let's set it to three. Talking, talking shop. Oh yeah. I think as hard as it may be for some people to believe, the IT industry itself. Has um it's fair bit of negativity, you know, uh Tied to it, people, uh, people working teams, and some individual contributors are not really that big into the team thing, and so how do you then get the best performance out of a bunch of guys? Who in their free time would rather be alone? Um, you know, and I myself can see a lot of use. Uh, there's this super book um, the few of the conflict books that are in the market I, I can't think of it now um, but you know they are really good uh, five dysfunctions of a team Mr. Len G on his books yeah, I, I, I read most of them I think uh, they are really easy to read they are not thick they are not, uh, but they are full of information, and because they are story based, it makes it. Um, I don't know. I remember stories easier, so you know it makes like whatever he's trying to say, I can remember it easily, uh, and I can go and apply that in my team. It's been years since I met the guy who sold me this. Yeah. I think he's having a wonderful life in Canada now. 
with his new wife. Shout out to you, man, and uh, congratulations. Hope I say that right. If I didn't leave a comment. I'm going to do the Fatih razor again. It's one of the razors I'm going to revisit. I actually got tempted by the uh, um, uh, slant razor, but then I really thought to myself, I haven't even you know used fully the uh, the current one that I bought. How can I go off and get anything? And buying a new razor, the wallet's gonna kill me. Very good. I didn't have. I don't think I have any at all. Um, nicks or anything. The alarm clock's gonna tell me soon. Let me just wash up. good shave and I'm going to then finish up with this my true fit and heal I don't buy a lot of this stuff um, don't know why uh, because I think I have more razors than I can use but I just don't buy a lot of the software you know same like Tea drinking, I don't buy a lot of tea. Um, and fountain pens, I don't buy a lot of ink. I don't know why, but then that's just it. So until I come back from Sabah and I meet you from in the next shave, which is probably gonna be a few weeks from now. Um, happy shaving, and I hope you guys all have a good shave. Selamat bercukur. Bye.